Hello, you're very welcome to Jerry's DIY. Today I want to make a malleable iron drip feed system. I want to make one that I can weld onto the side of my waste oil burner. Um, I have a brass one, but I'd have to put brackets on it and stuff like that. So it's just as easy for me to make one out of malleable iron. Okay, so I've drilled a hole in this T-piece. That's a 20 mil hole. And that's so I can see oil is going to come in this way. And then I can see the oil go by the hole. The hole illuminates the back of the, of the setup. And I can see the oil dripping without any difficulty. So it's very easy to make. This is just to tighten up and you know, apart from drilling the hole, the rest of it is just to tighten this stuff in. So look, there's my T-piece. This is a bushing. It's treaded internally and it's treaded externally as well. The internal hole is, um, is half inch and the external um, part of it is one inch. So look, um, for anyone who hasn't done it before, I'm just going to put some PTFE tape on it. And it just goes up in the direction that you would tread it up. And where I had that piece hanging down, that's no problem. I just wind it up as well in the direction of the tread. So as you look at it, we're winding up as though it was treading in. That's it, just a bit of tread tape. Okay, so that's, that's going to go into the top of the fitting. Let's see if I can get that sorted out. So there you go, look, in the top of the fitting. I'm going to tighten that in with a stilson now in a minute, pipe wrench. Okay, so now we need one for the bottom of it. Now this is kind of a five minute operation, it's very very quick to make. Okay, so I have the other bushing and I want to tread it into the bottom. So we've got one on the top and we need another bushing on the bottom. It just reduces the size of the, the T-piece. That's a one inch malleable iron T-piece. So I'm going to wind this up. So again, look. This is just for people who can't do it. Lots of people know how to do this, I know, but this is just instructional for who doesn't. So look, start your tread and then wind this tape in the direction. So we're winding on. Okay. And what happens there is as I tighten this into the fitting, the, the tread tape gets wound on. Okay, if there's anything like that, just wind it over. Leave the hole clear, that's, that's important. Okay, so there we go. Hole is clear on this one, and we're just gonna wind it in. Now, I wanna put this in the vise and tighten it up with a pipe wrench. So let's do that. So that's what it looks like when it's tightened in. This thing, um, you can pull off any bits that stray out. This thing, I'm going to tighten that one down a bit more, just to make it more compact, but it would actually seal at that. Now, this is a half inch coupler, a half inch pipe joiner if you like. We call them a 310. Uh, it doesn't mean anything anywhere else, but look, I'm just putting the tape on again. Okay. Again, make sure the hole is clear wind up any stragglers in the direction they're going to go and that's it okay this one goes into the bottom for me doesn't matter which end is the bottom at the moment so I'm just going to tighten that one in as well okay that one is the outlet now the inlet, this is just a half inch gate valve. As I open it, you can see through it. And as I close it. Now I'm going to do a job on the gate valve. But for now, let's just put it in as it is. Okay, and all I'm going to do, this one takes copper pipe directly into it and then it compresses with a nut and ring. I'm just going to use the tread, like this, straight into that bushing, with no nut and ring on it. Okay, so remember we put the coupler in and that's our, our unit from the back and this is our gate valve. So I'm going to tread the edge of the gate valve directly into this thing. It's half inch as well. So there you go, look. So I'll tighten this a bit more but that's what it's going to look like. So we're going to look through here, we're going to see the oil go down. The oil is going to go into this pipe here, which will take a compression nut and ring, which is great. So look, I'll just put this in here, we'll tighten a few things. Okay. 
Okay, so that's what it looks like. I just brought the gate valve out to the side, away from the burner unit. Okay, so that's the unit made up, and I'm going to come out of this in half inch pipe. And I don't know what length of half inch pipe yet until I make the unit. But essentially it's gonna look like that. So we're gonna have an oil line into the top. This is gonna restrict it down. It's gonna be a notch cut in the valve, and it's gonna come out of here. So that's it, look, five minute drip feed system. There you go, no welding or, or anything like that. Just very easy, very compact. You can weld onto the side of it if you want or clip some brackets, very sturdy. Okay, so I'll be using that in a project tomorrow. So there you go, there's a drip feed system made in about five minutes-ish. So look, I'm gonna leave it there. If you liked the video, please thumbs up, subscribe down here, that'd be fantastic. If you're already a subscriber, I love having you here, really genuinely. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now, good luck.